Now let's do a colorful photo of Tuscany. I mean, right now it's not very colorful, but that's the whole idea of raw files. Raw files sometimes are very neutral and they can look awesome. Uh, this is, if you go to Tuscany, you got to go to uh, San Crico d'Orthia. It is amazing. They have, when before you come, you see these hills and just these trees. It just looks so real. It looks like the Windows 98 uh, screen server because it is. It is. That's where they shot it. I think it was 98. I'm not sure which one, but it was some Windows version. So I'm going to put up the shadows. I'm going to bring down the highlights, the regular workflow. I'm going to do my black and my white. And once you got, make sure you hold on the option key to make sure your black is crushed, your white, ooh, white, there is a lot of place for white. Now, already we got some good contrast, backslash key to see the before and after. We are good. So now, I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go and do the white balance. Once you nail the exposure, you know, you do the white balance. So on this one, so what you got to look at when you do the white balance is look at the tr at the the clouds. You can see the clouds are a little bit red, a little bit blue, but overall they are gray. And so we got to decide, is it going to be red or is it going to be blue? But gray is a wrong color. So I am going to maybe add a bit of magenta and you see it picks up right away. Everything becomes kind of blue uh, of magenta, which is really cool. Maybe add a bit more blue and magenta. So now we have a bit of magenta and a bit of blue. I like that much better. I think I want to add more contrast yet yeah, to make it really pop. Uh, maybe add a bit of uh, vibrance and a little bit of saturation. I want the colors there are really amazing. I think I want to make this a little bit brighter. Yes, just a bit brighter. So now that it's brighter, let's get our local tools. Let's go and get our gradient. And I'm going to double click on the things I don't want. I'm just going to lower the exposure and uh, click and drag. I just want to lower a little bit the top here and maybe even more there. So by clicking and dragging, you just get the same value that we had done before. And then we take a little brush, make sure the flow and density is in the seventies. And then I just want to add a bit of exposure. Uh, yeah. Usually what I do is I go to about one so I can see what I'm doing. And all I'm trying to do is put more emphasis, more attention, more importance on some of the highlights of the photo like this. Okay. But then I'm going to lower this back to under 0 0.5 and voila, it's crazy. I think this one, I want to go 16 by nine because I find the trees a little, um, you know, too far away. So, uh, so far away from me and boom, voila. Much, much better. What a place. What a place. Um, I think I might go and do a little circle here in the sky and add a bit of magenta and yellow, but please tell no one. This is just to add a little bit of colors in an already colorful sky. So where are we at? Well, there's only one way to find out. Backslash key. Before. After. Love it.